relationship with someone that also has a sickle cell trait and I have a sickle cell trait and there's a uh, a bigger chance you could have a sickle cell child. Yeah, shit. Hi Dami! Hi. So exciting to finally meet up with you. Thank you very much. It's so nice to be here. I know, right? So guys, I have a beautiful, amazing um sickle cell warrior with me in the house today and i am super excited guys meet dami precious <laughs> guys you need to really get to know dami precious like when i saw her youtube channel i was just blown away so i've been wanting to really sit up with someone that is going through um what you're going through before um, when i watched fari by cecile Kwe. i don't know if yeah, you know fari by cecile yes when she came out and shared with everybody she's a sickle cell warrior i was just like blown away like wow people go through this thing like it's real and i myself i was in a relationship with someone that has so i have sickle cell traits yeah i'm as yes. that's my genotype for those that don't know what that is we'll soon get into that but first let's go on a commercial break And there are some people that they are very, very, very lucky. Once you check your genotype, you have A, A, A to go. Once you check your genotype in a place, A, A, you, you, you get. So, you just, I had a story. I am not sure because I haven't stopped having it. I know of someone who was like A, A, like the result was standard. And at the point in her life, she went to check. And she has a sickle cell trait. So I was like, oh, how did we get here? So wow. it, it, really, it really is something that I feel you just have to, let me bring the prayer part to it. You just have to keep praying to be on the same side of the generation, so to say. So you won't be, um, you won't have the heartbreak. Because it's heartbreaking finding out you have the sickle cell trait and I think genotype comes in the, the conversation. Genotype comes a lot when we want to talk about our love lives. Yeah. So you've been with someone for say five years, six years. You want to plan marriage. You have your results initially. You have your hair hair results with you. The other person have let's say a health results, and you guys are like we are so compatible. Like this marriage is going to work. Every other thing check and medically you just have to check everything medically you just have to check every other thing medically aside from genotype there are other tests you do Absolutely. so everything and after checking you realize the other person is ahead how do we move from here and so, that's a whole other conversation like so you just have to keep checking i believe everybody should have i believe everybody should have three genotype tests like if it is AA, you surely get AA three times. But if there's a mistake, you just have to go in. Yeah, you should go. Keep going else. until you have three genotype result that has the same, same thing. thing. That's that's why I believe. So if I am sitting here, I have three genotypes to my name. Two of them has sickle cell traits and the sickle cell itself. So I know that okay, this is it. Not whatever at the mm -hmm. other one better so you just have to have just like okay three then mm -hmm. type results to avoid stories that what they have you right like right. It, it's always so painful like you 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 see this person butterflies in the tummy everything everything everything, everything. Uh, at the end of the day you mm -hmm. because it's it i see it as wickedness to be honest mm -hmm. going ahead with that kind of marriage to me i see it as wickedness I know. And guys, we're breaking this table today. So if you guys are joining the conversation, actually, we want you guys to join in the conversation. In the comments, let us know your opinion. These are our opinions, and it's not 
it's not to be honest, but I am talking from the perspective of being a single cell. Absolutely. I know what I have faced in this life and uh, living. I know what other sickle cell warriors are faced, if not 100% of what other sickle cell warriors are faced. But I know, at least, I could relate to 80% of what they face because I am also a sickle cell warrior. You definitely cannot put your shoe in every other person's shoe because it's definitely not going to size you. Even if you use the same size, there's still going to be some lapses, there's still going to be some extra space in that shoe. Even if you use the same size, I, I, I'm trying to use a very simple analogy here. When you say, oh, we use the same shoe size, or try to put yourself in my shoe, nobody can fit into my shoe. I cannot fit into a shoe because I I still believe that whatever it is I am passing through right now, whatever it is I am going through right now, God has seen me, God knows that, okay, I can undo it. If she's taking 10% of it, she probably might not be able to undo it. That's the way life is. So, I don't have the best opinion yet, but I believe if you are going ahead with any marriage that it's not compatible with genotype twice, don't go into it. Mm -hmm. Except if you are ready for the whole commitment that comes with IVF, PGD, um, the old, should I use uh, the African, um, this thing now where some African parents will allow, I know it's your marriage here, yeah, but they won't allow you to go for adoption option. They won't allow you to say you want to go out there, pick another child that is not your own, and have another child that is not your own, and stuff like that. So, if you are ready for the old emotional stress, I've, I've not been there, but I I think I understand a bit of I mean, what. This is, you know. I understand a bit of what is going to happen. Even I don't want to find myself there, but say for instance, if so, I understand a bit of what is going to happen. If I find someone in that kind of situation, there is the emotional part, the mental part, mm -hmm. stress of it. There's the commitment, the mm -hmm. financial part of it. Call like, I mean. I was saying this, I said, I don't want to spend my money on any health in you, like, I, I am a sickle cell warrior here, but thank God for divine health, so, you, you understand what I'm trying to say, after going through the old stress of, okay, yes, yes, let's go ahead with this marriage, then, you give, like, you, you are not even giving birth here, but the money you are spending on, IVF. Sorry, I'm talking from point of view of someone who is in marriage. Which is what we want to hear. Like, like I'm talking from point of view of someone who is in marriage, who isn't there yet. But I, I, I don't know how it is there. But I believe it is not easy. I think I know it is not easy. Like it is not a very, very easy journey from the story of IVF. Like, uh, I think they test uh, to be sure if this is going to work for them and. And the end of the day, and the financial commitment, the financial the emotional commitment, commitment everything. It, it is it's draining. I mean, I just want to get married, have fun, enjoy life, and stuff like that. Then at the end of the day, we start going into scatter, trying to do the child bearing part and every other thing. It's actually, thinking about it itself, it's draining. Like, you can't just sit and say, we'll go for the IVF option, we'll go for the PG. PGT option, go for adoption. The well, process is really not any questions. Uh, sorry to come show here. So for me, um, like this whole conversation, like I was sharing before, that it was something growing up to hear about, but you don't take it to heart because mm -hmm. I'm not a sickle cell warrior. I do have a trait. I'm AS, so I have a sickle cell trait. Um, but I hear it on radio most times, like, oh, check the genotype, do your genotype. This person is, has a sickle cell trait and another sickle cell trait, do not marry. But you know things you just hear, but they don't really concern you, so you really don't think about it. Um, the experiences I've had with sickle cell warriors are those three ones I shared when I was growing up, and then they passed, and then my teachers will had it and she passed. And then I, when it now became a, a, a real thing to me, it was when I was in a relationship. And this is something I've never shared on here before. And guys, I want to hear your own experiences in the comment section. Um, I was in a relationship with someone that also has a sickle cell trait, and I have a sickle cell trait. And there's a, a, a bigger chance you could have a sickle cell child. And so it, it became a conversation for us. Even before we started, like, is this something we want to do? Um, are we ready for that? And then I was, um, I. I don't know, I just felt like, well, God is calling us into this relationship. I came from a God's perspective. I'm a Christian and I believe in God. 
and that well there are chances you wouldn't have them as well so you know let's just pray and we were in that relationship for two years like we were in that relationship for two years and long story short it came to a point that i we we did decide to stop it and the the bigger factor for me it was mutual that we stopped the relationship was when I um, I heard Fari Fari by Sissi Okwai. If you know Fari by Sissi Okwai, please tag her guys. <laughs> um, and I heard her story. She came out and shared that she's a sickle cell warrior, and she shared all the challenges and all the financial um, the financial burden struggles or on it. And she's I mean she's you know well to do, so they could afford it and just all that stuff. Still, it was too about the money draining, the emotional part of it, and all that stuff. And just like. I was like almost in tears that wow like Victoria what are you doing like what, what are you about to what, like what would I tell my child like I would say I love your father so much and that's why I brought you <laughs> like, to the Lord. okay like, that child will curse me like how dare you mom like I don't want to be here like why did you bring me here I I, I, I think I know of a sickle cell warrior and um, you know we are at the stage of how to be who spends uh, I say nothing less than 800k, like hospital bill in a month. 800k is a lot of 800 in a month. Now 800,000, right? That's yeah. 800,000. That's era a lot of money in a month on hospital bill. You could build a house. Okay, maybe you can build it. You could buy a land. If we get the latest laptop. You could get the latest laptop, guys. I mean, <laughs> that, no. To be honest, I feel. I've seen the financial part of it. I I've seen how my parents try to make sure I am okay. I've seen how people around me try to also financially. So I really, me myself, I really want would not want to you go through support that. Something like For that. myself alone, I I am very 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 like prudent when it comes to spending money on like. Imagine receiving your salary and the next thing you're doing the is gone. Getting the whole is gone. So it's just like all the old sweat, all the old stress, you're spending it on health, you're spending good health is good, good health is underrated to be honest. But there is a phase of take precautions. Absolutely. My dad would say precaution is better than kill. Absolutely. Like prevention is better than kill. Like you could literally prevent this. Absolutely. Why? So why on earth are you trying to dip your into something you cannot you finish? Can't finish. Like don't even start it. Don't think about it. Dead that out. Absolutely.